Hey guys, I'm here with a little top five for you today, and that is my top five favorite Sherlock Holmeses. I love Sherlock Holmes. He's one of my favorite characters of all time, and I have been loving Sherlock Holmes ever since I was a little kid. And through the years, many different actors have portrayed the character of Sherlock Holmes, and I have seen quite a few of them. I'm actually a member of a Sherlock Holmes fan club here in my little town. We call ourselves the Sherlockians, and we get together to watch anything Sherlock related. So we have seen pretty much everything, the good and the truly terrible. And so I have compiled for you my list of my top five favorite Sherlocks. My number five spot goes to the classic Basil Rathbone. He definitely had the look, the voice, the suave nature of Sherlock Holmes. Unfortunately, his Watson was kind of terrible. He was very jammy. We call him Jam Watson. But who could forget Basil Rathbone? He was the iconic Sherlock Holmes. He had the look, he had the voice. I've watched a lot of the old black and white Sherlock Holmes, and I've also listened to a lot of Sherlock Holmes radio plays, and so he was kind of my childhood Holmes. My number four spot goes to Robert Downey Jr. in the new Sherlock Holmes movies. Because he is so very different from the other Sherlock Holmeses that we have seen, while he still has that same tenacious nature and needs to know the answers to certain mysteries, he is also... he's Robert Downey Jr. E. He's a lot snarkier, he's a lot more emotional, and he makes a lot more mistakes. He's not as proud, he's not as dignified, by far, and he's just a very fun Sherlock Holmes. So if you're looking for something that's not as serious, but you still want Sherlock Holmes, the new Sherlock Holmes movies probably give you a laugh at least. My number three spot goes to Hugh Laurie as House. That's right. House is based on Sherlock Holmes. I love the TV show House. I, I watched it all the way through, you know, when it first came out, all the way through. And I immediately put two and two together that House was Holmes. And he has a very Holmesian nature. He embodies a lot of the side of Sherlock Holmes that is decidedly calculating, that is a lot less caring about other people, and just needs to have the answers to mysteries. House's Holmes is the side of Sherlock that is completely driven by the need to solve mysteries, and when he does not have a case, he completely devolves. He turns back to, to his drugs. Without a case, there is no Sherlock Holmes, and there is no House. House of Sherlock Holmes also has a Watson in the form of his friend Wilson, who is awesome. For whatever reason, I have a thing for super intelligent assholes. Just just in my media, just on TV and stuff. In real life, I hate them. But I am attracted to intelligence, not assholishness, just intelligence, just in case you're wondering. And so I really love House as a Sherlock Holmes type character. Plus, he's played by Hugh Laurie, and I absolutely adore Hugh Laurie and everything that he does. That man can do no wrong, in my book. My number two spot goes to Benedict Cumberbatch in the new Sherlock series. He does an amazing job. He is a lot more similar to a more classic Holmes than I think a lot of people give him credit for. Because he is a modern Holmes, I think people expect a lot more emotion from him and a lot more sexuality from him, and I like that he is much more, I feel like, true to original Holmes in that he will use other people's sexuality, essentially, to get what he wants, and he will use himself pretending that he is a much more sexual being to get what he wants, but until they change it, he really is not a sexual being, and Sherlock Holmes, the original, was not a sexual being. You can argue with me if you want to, but, you know, that's what the comment section is for. But his Holmes is also very calculating, very uh, seemingly unfeeling. He seems like he doesn't care about his friends. Um, he has to have the answer to the mystery. Again, he will turn to his bad habits if he doesn't have a case to solve. His mannerisms, his look, his way of speaking, the way that he really does love his friends but conceals it so well. Benedict Cumberbatch, for me, is one of the definitive Sherlock Holmeses 
of my lifetime, of any of our lifetimes. But the most definitive Sherlock Holmes for me is my number one, and that is Jeremy Brett as Sherlock Holmes from the Granada Sherlock Holmes series. Brett has a quality that even Cumberbatch cannot capture, and that is the cat-like poise of Holmes. And Brett also brings almost a joking side to Holmes on occasion that you don't always get to see that I really like. It is a lot more obvious with Jeremy Brett's Holmes that he loves and cares for Watson. Not in a sexual way. Sorry, shippers. It's just not what this particular Holmes is doing. Maybe that, you know, you can have all of your Holmes ships. That's fine. I don't ship it. I'm just gonna put that out there right there. And again, he has all of the Holmes traits. He's cold, he's calculating, he has to know the answers. He will once again turn back to his bad habits when he doesn't have a case. But the level of humanity that Jeremy Brett brings to Sherlock Holmes, making this larger than life character into such a relatable, believable human, because Jeremy Brett is one of the best and sunless actors that I can think of. Really, if you just watch his face, his just face acting going on with this man and just all of his little body movements and all of the ways that he really captures Holmes in everything that he does, every way that he moves, every every way that he speaks. For me, Jeremy Brett is and probably always shall be the definitive Sherlock Holmes. There you go, that was my top five Sherlock Holmeses. Did you enjoy it? Who are your top five favorite people who have played Sherlock Holmes? Leave a comment below or make a video like this of your own. If you would like me to do a top 5 Watsons video, leave a comment below and let me know if I get uh, if I get three people saying they want me to do a top 5 Watson video, I will do that one as well. So three people. Here, comment here, comment on the Facebook page, let me know. And boss me around. Go ahead. And until then, I will see you next time when I will be filming whatever I happen to be filming. Bye!